Hi everybody. So tonight I'm going to be filming a Tuesday morning haul. Um, it's actually been a while since I've gone to the Tuesday morning that's closest to me. In fact, last time I went was probably a month um, because when I went earlier today, I found that they had rearranged the store and um, they, what they did was they rearranged the shelves and stuff or rather the placement of them because before this was sometime last year they rearranged the store into a configuration that was just stupid because you could only enter the aisles in one direction they basically uh, made the aisles like wide enough for only one shopping cart which i thought was dumb because if you wanted to turn around and go the other way you couldn't you had to like go all the way you know down the aisle and then go back around and Honestly, it would have been difficult for somebody in a wheelchair because, you know, they would have a hard time trying to get through and if there's somebody ahead of them that has a shopping cart, you have to wait for that person to move. So when I went, I was mildly, well, I was very surprised that they had rearranged it so now the aisles are back to the way they were before, which was wide enough to accommodate two shopping carts, you know. So, um, you know, you have to relearn where everything is again. And um, I did find the craft aisle. Unfortunately, it's still not fully stocked pre-pandemic, the way you know the way it was back then. But I did find some new things. So let's get started. So here we go. Now I will show this first. This is a Jane Hatfield um, a sticker book, but that I purchased actually a month ago from a different Tuesday morning. Um, I liked it because, for one, it had these really pretty um, houses, which I'm a sucker for when it comes to anything that is like American Craft, crepe paper, you know, related, Maggie Holmes. And I also liked these silhouettes here. I don't know if you guys have seen this, I'm already doing a flip through, but um, I just like the whole like very muted, you know, with the black and the gold. Um, yeah, like these muted pastels here and stuff. I mean, I'm not like a super fan of um, Jane Hatfield. I mean, there's some stuff that I do like from her, but this one, this particular sticker book really caught my eye. I'm not sure what collection it came from, but um, yeah, I'm happy to add it to my sticker book collection. So then this right here, all of this is from today, okay? So this right here is a notepad um, it's by Fireweed, 50 recycled pages. Now I had the choice between this one and another one. Well, let me make sure that that's in focus. Um, I'm trying to remember why did I choose this one over the other one. I think it's because this one was in purple. And I guess these are pansies, which I'm not a big fan of in terms of flowers, but I just like the look of this. Um, go ahead and open it since I have, didn't do that in the store. So why did I buy a note, um, this uh, notepad? Well, I was actually gonna use it for writing letters, which is something that I used to do a long time ago. Oh yeah, this is nice. Look at that. It's front and back, which is really pretty. Oh, I definitely like this. Um, and it's thin. You know, back in the day when you used to write for, you know, when you used to write like airmail letters, you know, international letters, you would use, um, I remember, I probably still have it too, a pad of the old airmail paper that was really thin, you know, so then that way it, the paper, I mean, the letter wouldn't be weighed down and you wouldn't have to pay a lot of postage. Well, and this, this paper does kind of remind me of that. It feels a little bit lighter, but it's not as light as that paper. So yeah, this is really cute. Clarissa, expect your next letter from this pad. So I got that as if I need more pads, but that's okay. I don't have one this size anyways. So, okay, put that aside. So this collection right here of stuff, or well, they're all from the same collection. It's Graphic 45, and this is from the life is a journey collection so they did have the pad but i didn't get it um what i well not the pad they had the um 
collection, the, the set, you know, where you get like, I don't know, six or seven, six sheets maybe of the 12 by 12, the assorted, you get um, stickers, and I think that was it. It was probably, I wanna say, was it $9? No, I think I might have been cheaper than that, but I just chose to stick with um, this stuff instead. So I did get the um, ephemera pack, and this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm trying to make sure to avoid the glare. Um, that was $3.99. I picked up the 8x8 uh, pad instead, because, um, you know, can use this for the, uh, what do you call it? For like my memory decks or whatnot, what other projects I'm doing. It's double-sided, um, which is also good. Let me throw this away. I hate keeping all this sticky stuff on there. Okay, so here's a quick, well, that's the back. Quick flip through, okay. Looks like you get two of each. All right. Okay. And then I picked up the single sheet packs of 25. I got two of them. Um, this one is, usually it has it on here, Get Lost is what it's called. So I'm trying to avoid the glare once again and keep it in focus. So this is the front, here is the back. I mean, it's not like my favorite, you know, set of colors, but I love um, that it is travel related and it's a, uh, you know, that whole 1920s look. And then here we have more cut aparts. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to keep it all in focus and in frame. So, got that. And here is the back side, which has chase the wind, fly away, adventure awaits, get lost together, touch the sky. A lot of you know, sayings on there, but I mostly bought it for this. So I'm sharing this with my friend Clarissa, Karamia's Corner, because she does love the 1920s, and on top of that, it's travel related, so I'm splitting the packs. She's gonna get half, and I'm gonna keep half. So I gotta figure out a way to mail this to her. I might have to, oh great. I'm trying to see here where I can cut it, and it looks like it's right here. So I might have to cut it here, all of them, to send to her so that it'll fit inside a priority mail box for that one. And then this one should be pretty easy because the fact that I can just cut it right down the middle and mail. So yeah, that is my um, Tuesday morning haul. You know, it would be bigger if they just had more stuff, but from what I heard online, um, on Instagram, somebody was saying that they were looking for a new supplier for crafts, and um, I hope they get it soon because, you know, Tuesday morning is my go-to place for crafts in person, um, and I'm sure it is for a lot of people um, because, you know, you wouldn't really be able to pick up stuff like this at, like, you know, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joann's. I mean, yes, you can pick up some of the brands, but you don't get a big variety like this. So, um, yeah. I might go by to the other Tuesday morning tomorrow because I'm on the hunt for a box. Um, I'm looking for a box to fit all of my wax, um, my wax seal supplies, you know, something that's gonna fit this and all of this. Actually, I did see some at Tuesday morning, but the problem was I just I didn't like the prints that they had, so I need to go to the bigger store and see what they have, because um, I don't want to spend more than eight bucks on a box, a storage box. Just something decorative, you know, I don't want to have to use just some plastic bin, you know, to store that. So yeah, anyways, on to the next haul. I'll see you again, all right, bye.